Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just so happy to be back here this week and I'm just so blessed to be alive and counting my blessings because this has been such a hard time lately. I don't know how you guys are all doing in your countries and how's the situation over there, but here in my country is kind of severe right now. We are all doing kind of a quarantine, like a voluntary one, but everything is closed, like schools and um, just people are working from home if they are able to. So yeah, we are doing everything we can to prevent this from spreading and to kind of save our people and save our elders because they are the most affected ones. So these are really hard times, but I promise you guys we are going to get over this. So be at home if you can. I'm sending you all really good vibes over here and I promise you we are going to get through this. Okay, now back to the video. Since we are all at home and we don't have anything to do, I decided to do a video where I didn't need to go outside, so I decided to do some hairstyles for y'all. All of them are very easy and these particular ones are for the people with bangs, okay? So you can adapt, if you don't have bangs, most of this you can adapt, but you guys are always asking how can you style bangs, how can you do some hairstyles if you cut your bangs, so on this one I'm gonna show you that. Also guys, I know a lot of you have been asking me for makeup tutorials, don't worry, my next video is going to be 7 days straight wearing somebody else's makeup, so yeah, kind of a secret for now, but it's going to involve makeup and there are going to be like 7 different days, but I know you guys have been requesting this matcha green really glittery makeup for so long so i went and did an igtv for this tutorial so if you want to know how i do this makeup go to my instagram Iris love unicorns okay now back to the video without further ado i'm going to start with this hairstyle which i like to call the country girl let's do this So for this first one, I'm gonna be using the 6-in-1 curler from Bellamy. I love this one because it has like six different heads that you can switch on to do different kind of curls. But I'm gonna use a thicker one today for this particular look. So what I'm going to do is basically just grab big chunks of hair and kind of just curl them and twist them while I'm curling so the curl is more natural. So do this kind of very natural curl. I use this curling technique a lot in a daily basis just because I feel it's faster to do this than to actually straighten your hair. So now that we finished our waves I'm going to add a little bit of hair oil because my hair is so dry but if you have like oily hair or if you don't like to apply oil just skip this part. Now next what I'm going to do is just to put all my hair in a little ponytail here so you can use any scarf you want this particular one is from H&M and basically since it's a really big scarf I like to fold it in a triangle and then do another fold like this just to be a little bit like smaller and then you just place it right here and go all the way back I like to do two knots to tie it really well and then just take the little ponytail off and bring your hair to the front like this and for this particular hairstyle I'm going to split my bangs here I think it helps to look a little bit more country girl another thing that I like to do is just to bring this part that I have a little bit more short to the front like this it really just frames my face a little bit more so yeah, it's just as easy as that, the country girl look. I feel it's a very cute look for girls with bangs and if you don't have bangs you can also adapt, so... Now let's jump into another one! Okay now, so for our next hairstyle I'm going to do space buns. It's very easy, it's just simple space buns but I wanted to give it a name so kawaii space buns it is. I just split my hair down the middle. This part right here I'm going to leave it on the front as well because I'm going to curl it later and basically what you do is like two pigtails right here and these are going to define like the height of your space bun like if you want them more low or more high on your head I personally like them really high. So 
so yeah basically two pigtails like this and then what I like to do is just twist all the hair first and I have a lot of hair so I usually prefer to see short haired people doing space buns because the space buns look so small and cute but I have a lot of hair and lately I'm not feeling like cutting it so I somehow have to make this work for my hair as well and I just start to twist it around and when you stop twisting and you're out of hair you're going to use this kind of hair pins like this and basically you just grab a little bit of the hair on the bun and then you stick it onto your head now this usually gets a little messy with small hairs and stuff so I like to use our hairspray or hair gel I just like to spray it on my hands and then just brush my hair with my hand like press it and now the last part is actually to use the same curler we used before but I'm just going to curl these parts right here I think they look so much cuter it's like adding that little extra salt at the end and that's about it this is actually all I do for my kawaii space buns they are so easy and one of my favorite hairstyles that I do now let's jump into the next one Okay, so for the next one I'm going to call it the chopsticks bun and I also wear this a lot, you've probably seen it on my Instagram page I really love because it, it gives a little bit more of a sophisticated look and I'm going to add some braids on this one just to frame the face so I'm gonna start by that part I'm going to take here a little chunk of my hair next to the bangs so I basically just divide in three pieces and start doing a normal braid I want like a small one I really like doing these small braids with a lot of different hairstyles I think they look so cute and the good thing about it is that if you do like a, a good braid and add a little bit of hair gel it's going to stay for more than one day so you can leave them, sleep with them so I think this is enough, I'm going to add this small little rubber hairband here so now that both our braids are done, take all the rest of the hair and do like a huge ponytail here really on top where I want to have my bun so now that we have our ponytail really high I'm going to do the exactly same that I did with the space buns the twist here and the twirl and once again go with the hair pins Okay, I'm happy with this. Now I'm going to use two chopsticks and you can get any chopsticks you want, any color. You can try to feel where there's like an opening for you to stick the, the chopstick. I feel like I want to add one to each side. Once again, you can go with some hairspray to kind of make everything look better. And there you go, it's just as easy as that. I would love to see you guys recreate this one. Now let's jump into the next one. Now for this next one I'm gonna call it the sleek pony and it's basically a very sleek ponytail and then we're going to accessorize it with hair extensions to kind of give it a little bit more of an edgy vibe but you can just do like a normal sleek pony you can grab a hairbrush on this one to kind of help you with your hairs and one thing that I really like to do is just put my hair upside down so I can brush it here and then you want to use your hairband to just do a regular ponytail here now this would be like the easiest hairstyle of the world but I'm going to add some hair extensions to make it a little bit more fun so I have these hair extensions here and since it's only for your ponytail you can buy like synthetic ones these ones are natural hair but you can buy some synthetic ones just to play around I will brush them just because they were sitting still for so long so they are kind of tangled this is one of the biggest pieces it has like four different clips but I don't clip it to the ponytail I clip it directly to my head just around the ponytail and I do the first one and I just go around doing the rest like this and I like to clip it on top of the other extension 
And since I have a lot of hair, I'm going to add a few more pieces and just clip them on top of the pieces we already applied. So basically I'm going to take a little bit of my own hair from the inside of the ponytail and I'm just going to wrap it around the entire ponytail. And while I do this, I'm going to be using the hair clips. So as you can see, it pretty much hides the hair extensions. So yeah, this is it. Very simple. It has some Ariana Grande vibes. I think it's a very simple look, but also very cute. Now let's jump into the next one. Okay, so now the last hairstyle of them all. It's the one that takes the longer to do, but it's my favorite. I think it's one of the cutest things you can do with bangs. It really looks very cute. If you already have curly hair, then probably this look is what you have in an everyday basis. But for us with straight hair, we really need to go all the way in terms to achieve that look and it takes a long time. So I have my curler back, but now I switched to this head and I'm going to start with the bangs and just hold it for a few seconds and then you release it and kind of hold it a little bit for it to create the curl and I'm gonna do the same with the rest of the bangs there's a lot of curls going on here and you're going to keep curling here on this part next to the bangs I really love these noodle curls, they look so cute and now that mostly everything is curled I'm going to leave these pieces here on the front I think really look very cute and now for the rest of the hair I'm gonna do something that I really like with this type of hairstyle which is just pretend like you're going to do like a ponytail but then don't pass all your hair through it just like half of it and you do another turn like this so it's kind of a half bun I really like this hairstyle like this because of the curls it looks so cute and that's basically it I really love this hairstyle and I hope you guys like it too I would really really love to see you recreate any of these five hairstyles I think they are so easy to make let me know what you guys think and let me know which one was your favorite also if you recreate them don't forget to tag me I would love to share your pictures and remember to be safe take precautions take care of the others and be kind in this really hard time of the world. Thank you guys, see you next Tuesday. Love you!